Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Marla. I have a big box of things on my lap that I purchased over the past several months. Most of them are products that I purchased myself. I do have about five products in here that are from Octoly that I will save. Probably till the end of the video, I'll go over the products that I purchased myself first. I've had these products, like I said, for months, but I just kind of have not broken them out <laughs> before this video. So let's dive into this box and I'll show you some of the things that I really, really love. I cannot say enough about this Shea Moisture 100% Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I use this on my eyelashes whenever I can get a chance. I apply it to my eyelashes probably at least three times a day. And right now, you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but my eyelashes have grown in length so much. It is crazy. I just can't believe it. So much better than they have grown than when I was using the new lash. It's just, this stuff is a miracle. I love it. That's why I just bought two brand new containers of it because I still am using my other container. Whatever's in this stuff is magic. Now it hasn't thickened my lashes, which is strange. The only thing I really have noticed, and it has been noticeable difference, is it has lengthened my lashes. I apply this a lot, several times a day, every day, but it really has paid off. So I purchased this Pixie Rose Oil Blend because I saw someone on YouTube raving about it. It says it's a rich source of botanical extracts and vitamin E that helps protect, nourish, and strengthen skin for all skin types. You're supposed to use this in the AM and PM massage two to three drops into clean toned skin. For hydration, you can add one to two drops to your moisturizer. I actually add a drop or two of this to the Pixie Milky Mist and then I just shake it and, and do it that way. You know, I really like this. However, I won't repurchase this. I like it because I like the smell of the roses in it. I love the smell of roses. It could be overpowering for some people. The only thing I don't like about it is I don't feel like this absorbs into my skin really well, as well as some of the other oils I have. So that would be kind of a negative for me on this. I have enjoyed it and I've been using it off and on for the past several weeks, but I wouldn't repurchase it because it just kind of, I feel like it lays on top of my skin. You know, it's taken me forever to get one of these Milani Rose blushes, but I picked this one up in Blossom Time Rose, and this is so pretty. It is just the prettiest shade right there. That is the color of the blush. It is just so beautiful. I didn't realize how great these blushes were until I got them. I'm so glad I picked one of these rose blushes up and this color is stunning on. So Milani blush has been a favorite of mine. Another thing that I have enjoyed is something I got off of Amazon. It came in this little bag. I already have a hole in my ear here for piercing and one here, but sometimes I like to be a little edgy and I wanted to have cuffs. So I have a cuff that goes here and one here. I can look edgy sometimes. Like when I go to a concert or something and I wanna just push my hair behind my ears and show people that I have an ear cuff. But I did, I kind of really wanted ear cuffs really badly without actually going through the torture of getting my ears pierced. So those ear cuffs have been, I've really enjoyed them. I just think they are so much fun. I've had this product for a while and I really love it. The reason I love this product is because it's in a balm. It is the Nourish Organic Replenishing Argon Oil Balm. It's for your body and your face, but I only put it on my face. It has Moroccan argan oil that's packed with omega fatty acids that hydrate and replenish the skin. There's also sweet orange in here that smooths and softens the skin, and palmarosa, which soothes and nourishes the skin and won't clog pores. I love this. It is argan oil in the form of a balm, and it smells like oranges, and you just turn it up. And when I want to put argon oil on my face, all I do is rub this in all over my face. 
when my skin gets flaky from Retin-A or sore and I want to kind of really hydrate it because when you put this on, you do not want to go out in public. It's kind of very greasy. When I have like the flakes or I have Retin-A soreness, I'll just put this all over my face, let it soak in. It just feels so good. Nourishing. I love it. Love this because it's in the form of a bomb. I picked up these Danielle Erase Your Face towels. There's four of them in this pack and I think this pack ran me $9.99 from Bed Bath & Beyond. And what you do is you wet this and it is a cloth that takes off your makeup. And I kind of like it. You have to wash these first before you use them. If not, the little lint pieces will get on your skin. You wash it and then you get it wet and then you rub it all over your face and it takes your makeup off. These were only $9 for a pack of four. So I use this to remove my makeup on top of some other things that I use to remove my makeup. But I really like this for travel. Just kind of rub your makeup off and makes it easy. It's super soft. It feels like, oh, it feels like a really soft kind of fleece jammies or fleece coat. This has been really kind of a favorite for taking off my makeup. Another huge, huge favorite has been this Wet n Wild foundation that I picked up at my Walmart. I'm wearing it right now. I love it, love it, love it. I love it better than my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is a great foundation. It's cheap. It does smell like paint. It goes away so fast. I don't even, you know, you put it on, you smell it, and then it goes away. So it doesn't bother me at all. I love this foundation. The next time I go back to Walmart, I'm going to pick up another bottle of this. It's so inexpensive but it looks beautiful on skin. Look at that. And it looks beautiful on mature skin. Gorgeous. Love this Wet n Wild foundation. Love. If you would look in my closet and you would look at my pants, I have a couple pairs of page jeans. And the reason I like page jeans is because they run really long and I'm very tall. I'm like almost 5'10". But if you looked at most of the other pants in there, I wear mostly Diane Gilman jeans. And if you don't know who Diane Gilman is, she is a clothing designer and most of her clothing that she sells is all through HSN. Now her clothing is kind of hit or miss, especially her pants. Some of her pants I have loved and I really have literally worn holes in and some other pants I've had to send back because they just weren't cut the way I like them. But these that I just purchased, I am not a big fan of embellishments because I always think that screams mature woman. However, the embellishment is so kind of finely done and I wear long shirts mostly anyway, so you're not gonna see kind of this butt embellishment. Her pants fit so well, at least they fit me really well. And the reason I like her pants is because they come in petite, regular, and tall, and I have to get tall. This is a vintage, I guess, reproduction. These are kind of like a gray jean, and they have just a touch of stretch. Oh yeah in the waist. These are so comfortable. They come up, they hit me at my waist, so I don't have that kind of feeling that I'm being cut in my gut area. There's gonna be anything hanging over anywhere. It just comes up nice and high. They don't look like granny panties on. They fit really cute. These pants are so nice. This is a Root Concealer by Rita Hazan. I picked it up at Sephora. It comes in both a crayon form and also an aerosol. It's great for kind of touching up any grays. My only complaint would be that they don't have enough colors in this crayon. It also is great at covering up any little tiny sparse areas of hair you have. You can just put that crayon on your scalp fill it in and you don't look like you have tiny little bald spots on your hair anymore. It's a great little crayon for touching up grays and filling in any areas of your hair that are sparse. Amazon, I purchased a pack of these. It was a five pack. I actually pulled one out already to use. I used these to put 
my castor oil in and then I just can then use the wand to put the castor oil on my lashes. But what I like about these containers is it's really easy to get this little, whatever this little thing is, this little plastic lip thing that is inserted into the vial. You can push that out very easily, fill the container up with whatever fluid you want and then snap that back in and then use it that way. I was having a really hard time trying to find something to put the castor oil in and these are perfection. So if I can find the name of these, I will show it right now. These have been another great little cheap purchase that I got off of Amazon. Now for some products that I have gotten from Octoly. I am a huge fan of this product line. It is Kenzoki. They sell this at Sephora. Most of the products I've tried from them, as a matter of fact, all the products I've tried from Kenzoki, I still use and love. This is the Kenzo Sensual Bare Body cream and that is what it looks like. And the reason that I was drawn to this on the Octoly website is when I was reading the description of this, they said it smelled like steamed rice. I mean, how can you not like a product that is supposed to smell like steamed rice? But it smells so clean. It just smells like you just took a shower. This container is actually so dense with product that it's heavy. I love all their creams because it's just like you were just getting vanilla icing off a cake. They make the best creams and they have no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates in them. Kenzo or Kenzoki is a Japanese beauty brand and you will find it in Sephora. And once you rub this in, it's not sticky. It smells so good. You have a couple ingredients in here that are going to moisturize, soothe, nourish, and soften the skin to make it very soft and supple. Rice active plant essence relieves redness and creates a supple appearance. The bell de newt moisturizes and soothes. The fig softens and the capuchu butter, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, nourishes. When you go to Sephora, check out the Kenzoki line of skincare. I have been blown away by their moisturizers. They are so good. They have just really good products. I really love it. It's a really, a really luxurious, very rich cream. But this product was sent to me from 100% Pure. It's called their Green Tea Fiber Brow Builder. This one's in medium brown. And it says, this is actually made from green tea fibers. And this is what it looks like. It's a very pretty little container. It has a little etching on it. I haven't really tried this that much. This is what it looks like. It has that little tiny, tiny little wand. This is actually not out yet. This is launching April the 13th of 2017. So it's kind of like a sneak peek because I think this video is gonna be going up before that. Now, I don't have a lot of eyebrows, guys, so my eyebrows are drawn on, but I'm gonna try to go over this. It just goes over my eyebrows enough it doesn't leave any kind of like buildup. It adds a little volume. It has vitamin B5 and E that helps strengthen the brows, which I need because I really don't have good brows at all. And it's a universally wearable tint. It creates natural looking definition. It dries quickly without becoming stiff or sticky, which is a big plus to me because I don't like stiff or sticky eyebrows. The brow applicator is designed to deliver the perfect amount of pigment and it is vegan. For all you vegans out there, are looking for vegan products. This is nice. It doesn't add too much. It just adds just the right amount. Launching April 13th of 2017. So I will use this because I need as much brow building as I can possibly get. <laughs> and it's made with green tea fiber. How cool. So this is by 100% Pure. I am a huge fan of sexy hair products. So I asked specifically for this product. It's their big sexy hair get layered. And I liked it because it was supposed to add 
thickening and texture to the hair and it's supposed to dry really quickly. Okay, so the claims around this are it conditions and softens the hair without having any product buildup. It should not dry out the hair. It's buildable and it has super fast drying time. It offers protection from humidity, from frizz, and from UVA, UVB rays. It's a working hairspray, so it's supposed to add volume and texture to your hair. This is a first impressions, guys, okay? So I'm gonna spray it first on my hand to get a whiff of it. I don't notice any kind of perfume smell to it, and that's kind of a plus for me. So I'm gonna... It does feel like it added a little bit of texture to my hair and some volume, as I can see it going up there. And my hair still feels soft. It doesn't feel crunchy at all or hard like some hairsprays make it. I like this and it's flash drying. Thank you, Sexy Hair. I will be enjoying this product, Big Sexy Hair, and it is there get layered. Sounds like get laid. Get layered. <laughs> Just kidding. Get layered. Only about two more products in here. The first one is from a company that I have never tried anything from before, Patchology, and it is their Smart Mud Mask. I saw this on the website for Octoly and I said, I have to get this because the whole advertising around this is that it is a no mess mud mask. And that is right up my alley because so many mud masks that I have tried are so messy. They leave my sink just a disaster and it's great. I love them, but I don't like the mess. So I saw this and it said it's a no mess mud mask. It says it's a detox mask that eliminates impurities. It has rare mineral rich volcanic ash in it. And let's see if there's anything else. Rid your skin of impurities in one clean step with smart mud. There's no mess mud masks. They make mud easy to apply and remove. It is the neatest way to clear up your complexion and dispose of poor clogging debris. It's made with mineral rich volcanic ash that removes impurities and renews your skin's clarity. It's sourced from an island in South Korea. It helps tighten pores so they appear less visible. You're left with a youthful glow that's healthy and debris free. And I am going to peel it off without the mess, which is really kind of nice. So that's the lower part. And look, there's really hardly anything left on my skin. I really like this type of mud mask. It is great. So all I have to do is get my little washcloth. Ooh, that was nice. Thank you, Patchology, for letting me know that these kind of masks existed in the world. Mud masks that don't have a mess. And the last product is a product that was sent to me from Skiderm, and I really love Skiderm products. As I said, it's a company that's based in the United States, but they also sell in South Korean markets. It is a company that's main focus is creating good skincare with great science behind it, but at a reasonable price. Everything I've gotten from Skiderm, I have incorporated into my skincare routine. I really love it. I mean, I rotate their products in on a everyday basis. And this is one of their best selling products. It's their X Hydro Ceramide Complex Moisturizer. It retains moisture and intensively hydrates the skin. I really like this product. I am a huge fan fan of hydration. I talk about it all the time. That's why my skin always looks so glowing because I love to have very hydrated, glowing looking skin. And this is really a great product. It has a ceramide plus natural ingredients. The ceramide complex prevents water loss and enhances skin elasticity. The ceramide complex also has firming properties and it helps to hydrate the skin so the skin has a natural glow. Okay, this is a hard word. I'm going to put it down here below, but I think it's macadamia integrifolia seed oil. I should get an A plus for even attempting that word. Integrifolia seed oil. 
It's a macadamia nut oil that contains antioxidants that help to reduce stress on the skin and prevent wrinkles, dark spots, and other prominent signs of aging. This is a product that I use on my face for hydration. I alternate it in with my other skincare. And when you use Retin-A on your face, you really need products that there's no scent, no fragrance that can hydrate your skin. And I am all about the glow, baby. I am all about glowy, radiant skin. So Ski Derm is a company that I really, really love and use a lot of their products. So I wanted to introduce you to one of their best selling products. I don't think I did too poorly on the time on this. Hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time. I really appreciate you watching and listening to me talk about products that I love and products that I've been using and sharing information. That's what it's all about. So hopefully everybody is doing well. Everybody has a great week. I will talk to you soon. Take care everybody. Bye-bye from Marla.